we often get asked about our TV setup. Um, we've got a home theater PC that's connected to our projector and this home theater P PC has software running on it that looks a lot like TiVo that allows us to schedule recordings, um, to be able to pause live TV and all those types of features that you'd expect with a TiVo or any other type of DVR. Now, um, I wanted to, to uh, go over this with you a little bit because we do get a lot of questions about it and I have got a couple of short video clips of the, our setup in action so let me show you what we've got and then I'll go over with you um, uh, how it works. In addition to the normal setup we also have a new little box that's called a Media MVP. This Media MVP is a little embedded set-top box. It's a little box about that big that sits on top of your TV and um, allows you to stream your videos from your Myth uh, computer to any other TV in the house, which makes it much more practical than just a standalone computer. So check it out. Our cable here going into a, a, what's called a PVR-150. Um, it's a, uh, a, a capture card that records into MPEG-2, which is the same compression used in DVDs. And it goes here into the Myth, uh, our Myth box, which is just a PC standing on the floor tucked away in the corner. Then that's connected to our projector which goes out to our TV, our, uh, our screen. So, um, in a second I'll show you some clips from what it looks like when it's running. Okay, so here's the interface of Myth TV. Um, I can go in here and select uh, to watch live TV. And as you can see here, we're watching this uh, particular episode live. And I can pause it. So it's, I can pause it and go to the bathroom, etc. Bring up a menu and I can uh, go to the program guide. And while I'm still watching the current show, I'm able to browse through all the other shows that are available and see descriptions of them, etc. I can select one of the shows and uh, record it. There's lots of options for recording, from things just recording that single show all the way to recording that show at any time on any channel, which is really helpful. And um, you know, then I can make a selection for a different show and and look and see uh, the, the you know the same kind of information about it. Um, you can browse through all the other shows on all the other channels and switch channels, things like that. Um, pretty much all the things you can do with the TiVo and uh, probably a little bit more. Um, uh, you can also watch um, any of your recordings. Your recordings are organized by program. So Hero can flip through the different types of, I mean, I'm sorry, the different programs that we have recorded. And when you select something like Everybody Loves Raymond, then you can see the different episodes. Select from one of those and, and watch it. And um, um, and here's uh, some more information about it. So um, there's, a, there's a little bit more that you can do with Myth besides just watch TV shows and things like that. Um, I mean, here's a here's another example of going through uh, the episodes and so forth, and you can see the times. But um, uh, the other things you can do are things like uh, you, you can see here that there's uh, uh, you can get information. There's weather uh, plugins, news feeds. Here's a voice over IP video phone plugin, um, and uh, I don't believe I've got the weather set up, but but if I had did have it set up, it'd have really pretty pictures and stuff. So it's a very powerful thing. Now, here's the piece of this that's got me re-energized about this enough to tell you about this again. This is the uh, Hopage Media MVP. It's this small little device that you connect that you connect your TV to, and you also plug in um, an Ethernet cable. And so what this guy does is it sits on top of your TV, and it allows you to stream your videos that you're recording using your TiVo-like myth um, that's in the other room. You could put one of these guys on top of every TV in the house and only have one central place where all of your recordings are stored. So that's what I think is really cool about it. So uh, let me show you what this looks like. Okay, so here we have the Myth, t uh, I'm sorry, the Media MVP's um, view of the Myth TV world. As you can see, we can uh, browse through different shows and um, uh, after you select a show, it plays just as if you were right there on the uh, on the MythBox. So, but you, this can be streaming from any one of the different of these little devices that you got around the house. Um, you got all your interactive menus while you're while you're still watching TV shows, stuff like that. 
Um, so this way you could have uh, lots of different TVs set up, um, all with this device and only one place we're recording it. That's the coolest thing. Um, so, uh, uh, and this does have, um, <clears throat> not doesn't have all the features that Myth has, but you can watch live TV and you can watch recorded shows. Um, you can even view the file system um, and, uh, and things like that. Um, this and in fact this guy's got a little uh telnet you can telnet into the guy and and issue commands and everything so it's I think overall things really neat and the experience is really close to what it would be like if you're sitting right there instead of streaming it over the network so for the people who are still hanging in there with me and have made it this far you probably have a couple of technical questions so let me just go ahead and answer a few of those um, one might be the cost of the system. Uh, as far as the software and everything, everything's free and it's open source. So you're not going to get locked in at some point in time and not be able to see your videos or not be able to skip, skip commercials or something like that. Um, in addition to that, um, you're going to need a probably not even very powerful PC. Um, playing the videos is a lot more difficult than it is to record them because the card that I showed you earlier is a hardware based card so it takes virtually nothing to be able to capture the videos. So you could probably get away with a um, 400 megahertz PC, something like that. Today at a garage sale I picked up two PCs for twenty or, uh, 10 to twenty dollars a piece. So something like that would surely be sufficient for recording it. And if you use something like that set-top box that I was talking about and didn't bother getting a beefy enough PC to be able to play it, then um, you can get away with just that, the capture card, which is roughly $70, $75. And, um, and all you'd need to buy is the uh, $80 set-top box. So, and, and that's about it. And so it, um, the solution I'm talking about does record in standard definition. It's a, uh, roughly 720 by 480 resolution. Um, I do have an HD capture card and it also works with it, but there's a few bugs that they need to work out before it's really solid enough um, for my likes. So um, uh, I've got that sitting in the closet waiting for them to get up to, to that speed with that. So thanks for watching this and uh, just send me an email if you've got any questions.